Hi and welcome to the Ideal Calibrations How to Calibrate Your Gas Detector Series. Today we're going to be looking at the MSA Altair 4. First thing we're going to do is we're going to start it by holding the middle button until it beeps. Then let go of it. And while that's starting off we're going to go through a few of what you're going to need here. First piece you're going to need is going to be the calibration adapter. Also the fitting adapter that goes onto this. I'm going to screw this on here. You're also going to need the tubing that came with the monitor. You're going to attach it to a regulator. The regulator you're going to need is a 0 0.25 liters per minute regulator. That's set up specifically for the Altair 4. You're also going to need some calibration gas. We obviously use the Ideal Gases calibration gas brand here. And for this mix, now you'll notice my cylinder has 10 parts per million hydrogen sulfide. You're actually going to want 20 parts per million hydrogen sulfide, 60 parts per million carbon monoxide, either 1.45% by volume methane or 58% LEL pentane. The methane is actually a simulant for the pentane. We always recommend using a methane simulant instead of the pentane. You're also going to need 15% oxygen with a nitrogen balance. Now one thing you'll notice is I'm using 10 parts per million hydrogen sulfide here instead of the 20 parts per million hydrogen sulfide. And the reason for that is I'm actually using a, a monitor that's being lent to us by a friend of ours who they actually use a different gas blend than is normally used for the Altair 4. But it's going to be okay, it'll work out just fine. So what we're going to do first is going to take the regulator and you're going to screw it open. This is an extremely important step and what this does by screwing it open make sure that we're not taking any of the gas that would normally get inside here and if you had the regulator closed it would push it inside your cylinder and over time that can put moisture into your cylinder and it makes it so that your gas values may not always be correct so we're going to open it up that way when we screw into the cylinder totally it's going to push that gas directly out of here so when you hear gas flowing go ahead and turn it off there and continue screwing it in until it's nice and snug let go Okay, now the first thing we're going to do here, in order to calibrate the Altair 4, we're going to have to hold this button on the right here. There's a left button, a middle button, and a, the button on the right. Holding the button on the right until it beeps. There it goes, and it says zero cal. Hit the middle button for yes. Now it's going to take a little bit of time. Let's hold this up so you can see it. And it'll go through and it says zero pass and then it comes up asking for span cal. Go ahead and hit the middle button and as soon as you have take your cal cup put it over the instrument here make sure you get, get all the clicks in then go ahead and turn on your calibration gas. This will begin flowing gas from the cylinder to the right to the monitor here. You notice the cal values will start going up see if you can see that. There we go. Much better for it. So now we're going to let this go up here. And you're going to want to see 58 in the upper left, 15 on the upper right, 60 for CO, and you're going to want to see 20 for H2S. Again, remember my gas cylinder is a little different than what the regular is here. So you're going to want to see 20, 60, 58, and 15. Tell it's working still because it's got the little cal gas icon as well as a blinking hourglass. I'll keep flowing the gas here. And that's what we were looking for. It says span cat, span pass, and it gives you a check mark here. Go ahead and turn off your calibration gas so you don't waste any gas. And then take off the regulator here. Put that to the side. Okay, and then you'll start to see the values coming back down. You'll see a check mark in the upper right. That means it was successfully calibrated today. Okay. The numbers will start going down towards zero. Okay, we've got zero on all the sensors except O2, which will slowly go up. 
And while that's going up, I'd like to thank you guys all for tuning into this video. My name is James Moore, and again, I'm with Ideal Calibrations. If you guys ever have any questions about gas detectors or any monitors, our phone number here is 734-956-0539, or you can email me, james at idealcalibrations.com, and check us out on the web at www.idealcalibrations.com. Thanks, and you guys have a great day today. Bye-bye.